Hi, Valley Forth Church family. Welcome back after the holiday break to our community connection. Pastor Joe and Pastor Josh with you to uh, talk about some exciting things that have happened and that are going to happen in our facilities uh, for the new year. But before we get to that, we wanted to, uh, again, thank you for being with us over the holidays at our different services. Christmas Eve was kind of special, wasn't it? It was great turnout, just a real special time together. It was neat. And so we're getting back into the, the swing of ministry. We're making uh, ministry plans as elders and pastors. We've been meeting about it, closing off our budget, planning our, our, new, our, our new directions. And so uh, today, a little different community connection. Mm-hmm. Not going to talk about the, the life-to-life ministry we do, which we talk about pretty much every time. We're going to talk about some of the, the nuts and bolts of ministry. We're going to kind of share with you some of the upgrades we've made to the facilities Facility, yeah. that we do ministry in. You may have noticed, you may not have, we did a lot of work this past year, and our elders and pastors are, are committed to future projects that some of them right now are even in the works. And we want to tell you about what's happened and what's going to happen. So um, before I get into Josh asking about some of the the actual work that's been done uh Let's, let's talk a little bit about why upgrading elements of our facilities is important. This isn't non-ministry related. It is. It's connected to ministry, and, and there's some functional reasons. I mean, if you, if you own a home, you know things wear out over time. We've had some things wear out. Yeah. You know, this building's been here for, for decades. Uh, some things are breaking, leaking, cracking, so literally presenting a need there. And, and we want to be good, good stewards of the building that God's given us. We want to be a safe environment for people to be able to come. Uh, so we're addressing those and um, want to do it at our best of our ability. But beyond that, this, this is ministry because um, ministry is more than a building, but it's not less than that because we do ministry in rooms and buildings and we need it to function uh, for the way that we, we want it to. We do. And we need it to match the environment that the people that we minister to every day live in every day in their mm-hmm. workplaces and and we want to we want to stay up to speed and and so part of our our work this past year was along that line so let me talk about the past year yeah. that just closed uh talk about some of the projects that we have completed some uh, people may not even know about some of them so yeah well the first one you may not have noticed unless you were here during the weeks that it was happening uh, but our, our gym building the multi-purpose building uh, got a whole new roof covering put on it and that had been a problematic building for many years uh, with leaks during the, the winter seasons that we just had difficulty addressing. So the whole thing got pressure washed, refinished, and then a, a whole like inch thick coating over the entire roof. It's guaranteed. It's not going to leak. <laughs> It'll keep, you know, the gym nice. Uh, and also the worship center building, you know, if you come to worship, uh, you won't get dripped on. Yep. Uh, we actually did a number <laughs> of years ago have a couple of places it was dripping even on Sunday mornings. We did. Uh, on us. So that's all been fixed. Uh, we're thankful for that. Um, maybe one of the more noticeable ones is the parking lot yeah. uh, project. And um, the old parking lot uh, was there were, the cracks were getting bigger. The stripes had worn off. Uh, it just wasn't uh, as functional. You'd see people oh, parked yeah, some, <laughs> some nights. They'd just be yeah, all over the yeah. place and be hard to get around. And so yep. um, that was a long time coming. We're really it was. Glad to, to have the parking lot finished. And then just most recently was the sidewalks outside the worship center as you yeah. come in and out. Um, and we saw that really as a safety issue with people tripping, slipping, falling on some raised edges that were caused from settling over time as well as kind of the ice melting and stuff. And so... That was all taken out and new concrete put in. But beyond being safer, it just looks a lot nicer. Uh, as you walk in, you know, it's clean and nice and new. And um, we're just glad to be able to, you know, present a safe and nice uh, environment as people yeah. walk into church. Yeah. And I know many of you have noticed and you've mm-hmm. commented to us yeah. about um, pretty much all of these things. Some of you have even noticed the different look on the roof. Mm-hmm. And uh, so grateful to God for yes. giving us the resources to our people to do this. And uh, let me uh, talk a little bit about it. Uh, some of the plans that, as elders and pastors, we've committed to for the coming year. Yeah. Uh, there's a number of things. I'll just point out three or four uh, that that I know that we're we're engaging in right now. Some of them, uh, our children's preschool room downstairs in the worship center and our cubby's classroom, kind of the same thing. Yeah. Uh, that whole area is going to be redone, and uh, it's part of a, a plan to just enhance our ministry to children, mm-hmm. which is one of our strategic goals. It is. Uh, so uh, this coming weekend, in fact, I think we're going to see the wall take one of the walls taken out mm-hmm. down there. 
So uh, some of our, our volunteers are going to be doing that. So we're pretty excited. Yeah, thank you. It'll create a larger room. Mm -hmm. Uh, and then we're going to have new floor coverings put in that entire area. Uh, and then uh, we're going to have paint and designs on the walls that will be child-friendly, that will allow Mary and her team to create different images uh, creatively to give a, a new learning atmosphere to that. New furniture has already been purchased, ready to go in. New toys for the kids yeah. to play with. All new supplies for our staff to help in the learning experience. So uh, the goal has been to create a great environment for preschool-aged children. There's been a growing need for that. We praise the Lord for that. Yeah. And so uh, that is underway. Another one is an investment in new seating in the worship center. Uh, this is something that our elders and pastors have committed to. And we, uh, we've looked and realized that uh, though the pews are beloved, they're, they're older and, and they're, they're aging and they're getting worn out. And they're getting more difficult to take care of, yeah. to keep clean, and they need to be replaced. Now, the replacement uh, form that we're going to use is that we're going to be, the new seating will be padded chair style. There's a tremendous advantage to this, and I, I know we've talked about a lot of different uh, dimensions of this in our meetings, but uh, this will allow us to actually achieve some dreams in, in the use of our worship center. Uh, it's it's We can go into multifunctions and have different kinds of meetings with the flexible movement of chairs in our worship center. Can you expand on that a little bit? Yeah, I mean, if you were ever at one of our uh, crowded potlucks downstairs in the fellowship hall, you, you know how difficult that is, but but it, we feel it's very important to have those fellowship moments. Uh, and so we, we dream of having, you know, a, a large, nice, you know, family time, really, a fellowship you time. Bet. You know, tables and chairs where people come and we can share meals, we can pray together, just be together in different ways even than our normal Sunday uh, experience. So it's going to open up some some new opportunities for yes. us. Yes, it would instantly create a larger space for adult gatherings, and we know that that's something that we've needed. So uh, it'll help achieve some dreams and enable some dreams. And uh, we also are in the process of of looking for a potential new home for the pews that would be would not be used uh, any longer, and uh, it might be here in a ministry that needs them, or it might be overseas. Yeah, and, we've got a couple leads of places we that we might be able to uh, so, come into. Uh, so that is, is a dimension that we're moving into this year. And uh, finally, the, you may not notice things like this, but uh, just from a safety point of view, as you enter the sanctuary, the handrails around mm -hmm. uh, some of the entryways are, are uh, needing to be, well, they're, they're rusting out, basically, rusting out at the, the bottom. bottom. And so that's a safety concern, an appearance issue, a little thing like, like that. When we did the concrete, then we noticed the handrails, right? So when you start working to get better, you notice other things that need to get better. And so that is going to be also addressed as well. So um, lots going on, lots in the planning stages, lots in the activity stages that we wanted to bring you up to speed about. Uh, you might be thinking, wow, this sounds like a lot of money that's involved. And it is, yeah, it, is, it yeah. is. And it's all been prudently analyzed and we've gotten the right bids and we've taken our time to do this. But uh, the good news is that due to the generous giving of people like you and in our, in our Valley Fourth Church family, the funds are already, are already here. We've, we've had a tremendous year of giving. And I think you can, you know, emphasize that a little bit as well. Yeah, we're just we're just so thankful that people have been so faithful to give even during this year, really even over and above previous years. Yes. Giving has been up. Uh, combined with the year where we, we didn't spend as much in some other areas of ministry. Right. And so we felt uh, good stewardship would be uh, investing in some long-term future needs of our facility for, for ongoing future ministry. Yeah, yeah. and so that's thank what, you for giving. Apps, thank you for that, and thank you for continuing to give was a tremendous year financially. Mm -hmm. And so our elders and pastors are excited to see these things move forward. Now, some of this might involve volunteers, right? Well, you know, yeah. in fact, if anyway, it will, certainly. And so if you uh, have that gifting, uh, don't be surprised when we put out the call uh, mm -hmm. to, to help us in uh, a number of these kinds of things. So that's our community connection for this week, a little different, but it's all still ministry, isn't yes, it? Yes, it is. It is. And so that we want to enhance the means by which we in the Holy Spirit's power minister. And we hope that you understand that that's the spirit in which we're, we're looking at all of this together. So thanks for checking in with us. We look forward to seeing you this Sunday, either in person or online, uh, as the, the body just continues to move forward here at Valley Forth into a new year of ministry. Thank you, guys. God bless you.